Welcome to the Silas Wilson Gaming Channel. I'm Troy Wesley. Thank you so much for watching. You're watching the Silas Sports video blog. This is episode 62. Thursday Night Football Edition. Week 5 is the Indianapolis Colts will face the New England, New England Patriots tomorrow night. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm going to give you a quick preview of the game and my prior workings for week 5 as well. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, it's after midnight, um, so I'm going to try to push through this as much as I can. Congratulations to the New York Yankees, they move on. They will face the Boston Red Sox in the AL Division Series. I think started Friday as well. Um, of course my World Series prediction is scratched. Uh, the Cubs lost and they eliminated, so. But I do have the Houston Astros get to get into it for the American League and National League. I'm still going to think about that and probably get my opinion on Saturday in episode 63 of the Silas Sports Video Vlog. Of course, today's date is technically 10 18 But in my time period, it is the 4th. So, I still want to thank everybody for watching. Um, let's get on with the uh, game tomorrow night. Um, the Colts uh, one and three going in. Um, showed this year um, they lost to Houston last week in the overtime game, which um, a lot of people didn't agree with the the coaching and going for it on fourth down, set up Houston for basically for a field goal to win the game. Then now one and three Patriots. Um, I believe they are today that wins and losses the first four games and they beat Miami last week 38-7 to to pretty much uh, say that they still on top of this division though Miami technically is still in first place with 3-1 and one, but Patriots come in 2-2 two and two. on the Colts, the Luck and everyone else um, and what I mean by that is Colts um, for the last couple of years haven't had a lot of talent around Andrew Luck even though Luck has been hurt um, where he was hurt a lot last year, but even before that, not a lot of talent other than T.Y. Hilton on offense and the defense always been, even since Peyton Manning days, been always average or below average. And, um, but with uh, them going for it on fourth down last week, um, a lot of people think that Frank Wright, the um, Indianapolis Colts coach, won the locker room, won the players over by going for it on fourth down, trying to go for the win. But a devastated loss for the Colts, they're now winning three. Uh, so I said they had the Colts making the playoffs in the beginning of the season and they also still slot as well, so. Um, this will be a big game for them this week. The Patriots, of course, they get Julie Elliman back. Um, for far as I know, he probably played tomorrow night. Um, and to me, I think the Patriots still the team to beat in the AFC. The AFC still a lot of question marks. Um, as we rather see my power against, going to be interesting. But because the AFC pretty much dominates my power against, but um, I still also think in the uh, NFC still probably slightly stronger than the AFC. But New England, uh, a lot of people uh, say, well, is this the year when they fall off? Or whatever? I still don't think so. Uh, they start off this slow every year. I think Brady will get it together as well. And the Patriots will propel again to at least a division title in the, in the AFC East. Um, basically, my final uh, thoughts on the game... Um, like I said, Thursday night games is always hard for the road team, so I mainly, mainly always lean on the, the home team. And the Patriots don't lose at home a lot overall anyway. Um, I got the Patriots winning this game 31-20. I think Brady will uh, get Edelman back into the mix. They can have a big game tomorrow night, at least I'm hoping so, fantasy-wise. And... Um, I think the Colts will move the ball a little bit because the Patriots defense ain't perfect. Andrew Luck does have talent, but um, I think the Patriots will dominate this game for the majority and win it 31-20 is my final score for the game tomorrow night. Okay, uh, move on to my NFL power rankings. Um, of 
course, it's early in the season, so it's, uh, very, I mean, it's definitely as difficult as a lot of teams. There's a lot of uh, teams that's 3-1, and one, um, but the two undefeated teams, of course, they're on top. So, usually I go from 5-1, to one, but this week I'm going to go from 1-5 to five because uh, the bottom pretty much is what is hard to predict. So, number one, the uh, LA Rams uh, won the game last Thursday night. They was featured with the Minnesota Vikings. Um, was pretty much a, uh, a pretty good decent game but the Vikings responded won the game and they was number one last week so since they did lose they stay number one here this week 4-0 going to week 5 number 2 the Kansas City Chiefs the Chiefs um, big win Monday night I guess they did around the Broncos they stay undefeated Patrick Mahomes looked like the real deal um, come back for behind win um Chiefs defense is their big flaw. Um, hopefully they get better um, during the season, but right now the offense is carrying them and they get and they carry them to number two on my power records list. Now if we the Jacksonville Jaguars, um, I it's the opposite between uh, what I believe as far as the Chiefs with the Jaguars, I think the Jaguars defense is elite. Offense still shaky, but Blake Bortles took advantage of this competition last week. Had a big game. Um, Jaguars going in three and one. By the day, defense is pretty much one of the best in the league, so that's why I got the number three. Um, number four, the Chicago Bears. Um, the Bears, um, they're surprising me all year, the defense especially. Um, and then Trish Bisky doing what he did. If he could be able to do that, you know, the Bay defense is bad. But if he continue to do half of that, the Bears will be an elite team. Probably even, uh, right now they're number one in the North in the NFC, so. i just been very impressed with them overall. And um, the only loss was to Aaron Rodgers when he was pretty much um, healthy for the most part. So, um, Bears at number four. Number five is the pride of controversial um, uh, pick that I have. I got four teams tied for fifth. Baltimore Ravens, the Cincinnati Bengals, the Tennessee Titans, and the New Orleans Saints. Saints, all of those teams, three and one. Saints coming off a win in New York, um, pretty dominantly. Um, Tennessee beat the defending champion Eagles, so I couldn't leave them out. Cincinnati, to me, has pressed me, you know, um, all year long. Um, man, I forgot who they won lost was too, but. The um, Bengals coming in three and one, and the Ravens. Of course, me being the Baltimore, I watch pretty much every Ravens game this year. The offense look sharp, and the defense is always uh, a big factor for the Ravens. Um, can't think about who the Bengals lost to. I really can't. But um, of course, the question is: Well, the Bengals beat the Ravens head to head. To the seat to me. Uh, well, it's like I had to deny they wins, but they still look sharp to be uh, New Orleans either, for the most part. But all these three and one teams definitely deserve to be initial, so I gave them a basically a, a four way tie. Miami losing to New England the way they did, I think they're still not for real, which I felt like that, you know, from the beginning. But when they was undefeated last week, I put them in my uh, power records. So. So let's recap, Rams, number one, Chiefs, number two, Jaguars, third, that didn't change from week to week, Bears jump all the way up to four, I was impressed by they win, even though Tampa Bay have issues on defense, and a four-way tie, Ravens, Bengals, Titans, and Saints, tie for fifth on my power rankings. Um, Jaguars play the Chiefs next week, so, well this week, so. Um, that'll be an interesting game. Definitely be some moves in the next week, I reckon. And um, this was say thanks. Um, check out all my rest of my projects on my channel. Tomorrow I'm gonna try to do some work um, before work, before real work. Um, and I thank everybody for watching. Episode 62 is wrapping up. Um, thanks for staying up with me tonight. Um, I'm gonna put it on uh, YouTube and. Um, 
also my all my social media uh, Instagram uh, Facebook and um, uh, IMO everything that I got um, to get y'all to go off of the channel and thanks so much for watching um, I'm Troy West said thank you um, and I'll talk to you next time talk to you Saturday in this form but um, definitely will talk to you throughout the week the rest of the week with my video game playthroughs and thanks so much for watching Patriots and Colts tomorrow night enjoy it and enjoy your football for week 5 they real well in my pick, picks, picks last week 11 and 4 and 11 and 5 last week like week 2 was my worst week only 5 and 11 last uh, that week so they did real well the last two weeks have been catching up um, but thanks and um, I'll talk to you guys soon appreciate all the support and check out all the rest of my projects right here on Seller Sports and Gaming Channel right here on YouTube via the PlayStation Network and thanks so much talk to you soon